welcome back to another video. Today's a really exciting one because we are going for our very, 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 very first camping trip in Frida. I'm here with Dan and obviously the babies are coming as well, the little babies. They don't have no idea what's going on. They're very scared at the minute. They're not used to being in the car. They're not used to like going anywhere and they've never been in Frida before ever. So, um, but yeah, we're on our way. We're going to stay at the Three Horseshoes. Um, I already messaged them on Facebook and they said that they allowed overnight um, parking for campers if you like attend the pub basically so we're gonna go in have a drink I don't think we're gonna get anything to eat are we we might get something to eat if we get hungry later on but we're just gonna see um so yeah we're just gonna go and um we're gonna vlog while we're there so we're here so we literally just got here and we have set the bed up so I haven't actually shown you or explained the bed you will have seen me making the bed but because obviously dan's with me now we do have obviously up there where there's enough space for two people but um the only issue was i mean actually we'll probably be fine with that tonight mm. but i just don't know if it'd be a bit weird putting it up in a pub car park so i was a little bit like Ugh. so um i've figured out a way to make for both of us i don't know how comfy it's going to be or whether it's going to hold up the whole night but we will find out the dogs seem to have settled a little bit now they were very 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 scared to start off with because they had no idea what was going on poor babies but um yeah they're okay now so we're just here and got these nice pink fairy lights very nice I have, um, I think I need, basically I need a new leisure battery. Let's actually test it out now. So I've got this so that I can see. Um, well, I've got it so that it's got like an extension, 12 volt extension. Thanks, 12 volt extension. Then it's got some USB plugs to it. So this just plugs into here, if I can see. I can't really see what I'm doing to be honest. So I plug that in there and then it tells me the voltage as well which is really really good so it's at 12.3 now I am quite new to this I don't know massively what I'm doing and how it all works I'm gonna unplug it because I'm worried that that will drain my leisure battery just the fact that that's electric and whatnot however um, the leisure battery is naff so that's why I'm gonna turn this light off because that's using the leisure battery these fairy lights are just battery powered, which is perfect. I've got this little light here, which is battery powered. I've got a Halloween one as well, which is battery powered. It just needs some batteries in it. So yeah, oh, I think I bought some. I've, so basically I've got a Sheen parcel arrived. We picked it up on the way here from the, po the post room. So I'm gonna go through that. I think I'm gonna do a Sheen haul as well. Cause I've got quite a lot of camping bits as well. So mm, for me, I need a new leisure battery. I was going to say for me, I don't really need... Ooh, very bright. I was going to say I don't really need, like, the battery. I don't need the battery for lighting. I'm more than happy to use battery-powered lighting. Like, it's not an issue. Oh, where's the other one gone? What? The ba the light. What did we do with it? Oh, yeah. I got this. I think I have shown you it, but... I don't know if you're going to be able to get the gist of the brightness, but... It does light the room up really well like if that was there it completely light and lights the whole room up and it's basically just this it's dimmable so you can choose how bright you want it led and you just turn it off and it, i just got this i think it was like about two pound fifty from home bargains so we love a bargain don't we yes we do so yeah like in terms of the lights i don't need the leisure battery for that but I just want to be able to charge my phone and my iPad and things like that and I think this leisure battery, I mean this is going to be a test but it's already on 12.3 when we were here and it was on like 12.9 or something. It just like drains straight out. I don't know whether it's like, I don't know whether there's something else that's draining it, the battery. I don't know. I don't know, but I've, I've been told that basically 12 is supposed to be the lowest that you let it get to. Um, and it'll go from 12.9 to 12. And if it's at 12.3 now, we've literally been here for like 15 minutes or something and not used anything. 
and we would we draw for an hour and a half so it, it's had enough charge i don't know it, i just it's weird so yeah we'll see but with this battery because it's on naff and i'm going to get a new one anyway i'm not going to worry too much about draining it past I probably would just drain it to dead, to be honest, at this stage, because I, I really like need to get a new one. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a test, just see what happens, see if I can, if we just manage to charge like our phones for the night and whatnot. Also, did you say there's not really any cell signal? No. So, oh, might not. We 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 were gonna like I bought my iPad so we could maybe. What were we gonna watch? The Jeffrey Dahmer documentary. Mm. Or ghost, or ghost okay. adventures yeah like we were gonna just chill out of the ipad and watch some stuff we're gonna go into the pub for a little bit as well um i think there's a band on tonight but i'm just not sure what the dogs will be like with the loud music so we'll see um but yeah it's really exciting what's really excited like it's so cozy i'm just gonna it's a total mess because we haven't really proper sort but i'll just give you a quick like look around so <laughs> so weird. <laughs> so yeah, little babies are just chilling out. And yeah, so we're here. We made it. Oh, drama. I didn't tell you about the drama. So we're about 20 or so minutes away, and Dan's like, you're going to the wrong place. You're going the wrong way. My sat nav saying that you were supposed to turn around. You need to keep, you need need to turn around now. And he's proper. And I'm like, what? How can I be going to the wrong place? How can I put the wrong address in? Like, a new hour is coming. How can I put the wrong address in? And then, for literally the last 20 minutes of the drive, he was like, Sam, pull over. You need to pull over here. You're driving further away. You're driving further away from the place we're going. And I was like, I was just like, just let let's get to where we're where the sat nav sticking is for now and then we'll evaluate and it was bringing us to the right place because Danielle is silly if you driving though I can't I can't trust you I was just and I'm going I'm so sorry I'm so sorry Dan I don't know how I've done this how can I how can I put the wrong thing in the sat nav and I hadn't we were going the right way anyway we're here it's all good so happy camping Good morning guys, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning now and we've just woken up and the baby, we actually had a really good sleep to be fair, um, except at like about half <coughs> past 3, 4 in the morning, I was just like, my nose was just streaming constantly, having to blow my nose and my allergies at the moment are really, really bad. And obviously I didn't bring any ta any tablets of any kind with me. I've been coughing loads, so then my head was banging and I was like, oh, this is awful. But I ate it through the night. And here we are. Um, update on my leisure battery. So now it's saying it's at 11.8. Ah, I've been char- I've been char- I have been told that you're not supposed to discharge the batteries past 12. Um, it was on 12.3 when I plugged my phone in then it jumped down to 11.8 But it had already gone past 12. It had already gone to like I think it's on 12.1 When I was charging my phone yesterday, so I don't know it might jump up again once I take the phone off charge I'm kind of just playing about with it and test it out, but at the same time Because the bat we do think the battery's pretty much kind of had its life um, I'm not worrying about discharging it too far, so, um, cause I, like I say, you do need to get a new one. But it would be nice if I didn't need to get a new one straight away and I could just kind of hold along with this one for a little bit. And, and to be fair, tonight's the first night where we've, uh, where we've actually, it's actually had a drive, like it had a good, like about an hour and a half drive to give it more charge. So, yeah, still kind of just seeing what happens, but so far. I can still use the lights, not that I need to. And it's charging my phone and all that jazz. I think just for one day it would probably would be fine, but if I was gonna be sitting in the same place and then still needing it tonight, then that would be a different story. And when I go up north, I'm gonna be up north for probably like three nights. Um, 
and la and possibly without 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 driving the car at all. I don't understand know yet. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update. It is the morning now. We did make it through. You baby girl. And I have just used a shiwi for the first time. Yay! So that I could wee into a bottle and it actually worked. I'm really quite impressed with it. It took me a long time to, to like get the wee out because it was very... Because I was kind of like standing-ish. Standing-esque as much as you can in a bunker. This is the amount of space that I had as well. It's very unnatural and I'm like, come on, get it out, get it out, and I just can do it, but then I did, so it's fine. Just thought that y'all know. We've just come out for a little walk near to where we were staying, and we've just come to King's Pond. Oh, rats. Ugh. Ah, wild feeding's only allowed on the water, Dan, anyway. So, yeah, there's lots of ducks and swansies about. And we're just going to go for a little walk around the pond. And little baby's having a little walk. He's such good girls. There's Frida. They think they're getting fed. <laughs> I don't have anything for you, babies. I'm sorry. This is lovely. Isn't it pretty, guys? It's not a very long walk, it's just around this lake, but it's very nice. There's a lot of duckies. little walk and now we've just found this cafe called the departure lounge and we're gonna go in hopefully they're gonna allow dogs and whatnot oh it looks really cute oh is there a wedding on it says welcome to our wedding oh we're gonna go in and see if we just want coffee and dan wants some food i don't know we'll see Ooh, this is cool so yeah they are open for like normal people to come and eat but they don't take dogs inside but we're allowed to have the doggies outside and there's some little benches here so we're gonna get something and have it out here I guess they do weddings here and stuff which is cute it's actually really cute we're literally in the sticks we're at proper countryside at the minute so yeah So 
I, I completely forgot to vlog before we started eating. I got some scrambled egg. No, not scrambled egg. I got runny fried egg on toast. And then Dan got a full English and gave me his mushrooms because he didn't like them. And he let me have one of his hash browns, which was very nice. But we did just want to say, this is really very yummy. The eggs were perfect. It's really nice bread. The hash browns are really nice. What do you think? perfect i also got a caramel latte and it's very 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 nice so we're very impressed what do you think you're doing lola cheeky monkey cheeky monkey <laughs> so we're back in frida now oh i've got a bit of belly ache and yeah we're gonna head back it's such a mess in the back now we did put the bed back up Oh my god, the te- Oh no, it hasn't. I thought the table had fallen off. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Right, um, yeah, we're gonna head back. I don't really like driving on windy little, I mean, you know those ridiculously small, slim roads that are 60 mile an hour when really they should be 30. <sighs> on the way here, I can't remember whatever I said, but there was just cars, like, piled behind drive like because obviously i was driving quite slowly but it was raining and it was dark so that's my defense for that one so yeah we're gonna head back it's probably about an hour and a half drive um yeah so i'm gonna leave this video here because i don't know how long it is and i think it's probably quite long and i'm gonna say goodbye my loves and hopefully there's gonna be more videos coming not just the camping ones uh, because obviously I, I do miss doing all the other stuff and, and I like quite a few of my well most of my subscribers are all from that kind of thing but definitely gonna be a lot more camping videos because this is our little adventure isn't it we're gonna go home now yes we are yes we are right guys I will see you in the next video I love you so so much make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button leave me some comments down below and I'll see you soon Mwah. Mwah.